cord. <laughs> Hi there, Air. This is Jeffrey. This is Rife Color. And you're reading for the 7th through the 13th of August. All right. So um, it's really a collective message. And uh, like a day or two ago, I was going to make a video, but I didn't. I didn't. Um, I had this awareness of what was blocking me, of how I uh, was blocking myself with thoughts, feelings, uh, doubts, etc. And it became very, very clear. And so I did, uh, I wrote out a lot of stuff and um, I asked for it to be transformed. So I feel like there's a lot of that going on. It's like in the air. So it's like, oh, well, all of a sudden I'm aware of how my fear or my anger or my shame or whatever is uh, blocking me. And I'm ready to release it. So, um, you know, I wrote out a whole thing. I call on my angels and guides, my elementals, my ancestors to help me to release it and transform it. So that's the little message, right? I see where the darkness is. I feel the darkness. I acknowledge it. I ask it questions. You know, why do I feel like this? How can I transform this? And um, and then I, I prayed and uh, I let it go. All right. So, but if you need assistance the pendulum is like the perfect tool for that the, the perfect tool so if you're interested um let me know okay or, you know i never have a script sometimes i think i should have a script but i never follow the script so what's the point <laughs> oops but I feel like there's a lot of releasing going on for a lot of people because it wouldn't come up for me without, okay. Anyway. Yeah, so the question, you know, sometimes it's a question, air. Um, I have justice, I have the two of wands, interesting, and the lovers. So all of these are in a certain way about choice. You know, justice is about bringing things into balance. Justice is about, you know, being fair, seeing things from both angles, um, being illuminated. It's also divine justice. It's like a justice that's beyond our comprehension, uh, you know, like a new balance coming in. It's like, well, I never thought this relationship would end or whatever. And then it does, just an example. And, uh, you know, maybe as it's happening, it doesn't feel good. But then you realize that it brings you more balance. You know, in a relationship, I'm not talking about love necessarily. It could be business, could be a friendship. Then I have the two of wands and the two of wands has a choice, right? He can go back into the, you know, and neither one was really a bad choice. Okay. But this is the past because he's got his back toward it, but it was limited. And this is the future and it's expansive and adventurous, but maybe a little scary, right? But it's, it's standing on love. It has more opportunity. And then I get the lovers, which is really all about choice, all about choice. And I think the lovers is also a contract, right? So the, the lovers, I understand, I mean, these are both sort of contracts. And I feel like it's the contract between you and your soul, you and your light, you and your, your higher self. It's like, am I going to be led by something... Um, I don't know, more illuminated? Or am I going to play it safe and keep things as they were or are? And, and I don't think that either one is a bad choice. I, it depends on where you're at in your life. You know, sometimes it's like, well, I just want things the way they are. Or sometimes it's like, no, I, 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 want, um, I want a fuller experience, right? So I feel like that's, that's where you're at. Um, okay. Yeah. 
So the opportunity here is for a certain energy to end and a certain new energy or experience or thought or feeling or um, environment to reveal itself, to begin. Because, you know, there, there's like a closure. There's a certain amount of closure here. All right. Yeah. And, and so today, you know, this is the one who takes responsibility, right? But it's like, he has his passion in his hand and he has his fire in a way in his hand. Um, but it, I think that the, the decision here is like, am I going to move forward with this? Am I going to wait for the right time? Um, do I have to like contemplate it a little bit longer in order to move forward? Um, or am I just going to be gung-ho? And I think that's the choice. It's like, well, I know what it is that I would like to accomplish. I know what it is, what I'd like to um, uh, take action toward. But it, you know, it feels like It's almost this energy of like, what are you waiting for? Uh, you know, and it's. Hmm. Yeah, you're waiting for your intuition to tell you what to do. That's interesting. You're waiting to, you know, go into your heart. And let your heart and your feelings be your guide. Really interesting. So. The way I try to live, you know, I don't always accomplish it, but I'm pretty good at it, is um, I allow, um, like, my intuition and spirit to come to me moment to moment. It's like, what should I do now? What should I do now? What should I do now? Because, I, you know, there are so many things on my list because, you know, I got a lot going on here. Um so it's like, okay, I'm going to wait and sit and listen to my inner self to let me know what the next right action is. And, um, and I feel like that might be the new contract that you're uh, bringing in. That might be this new, because this is a contract. And, and this could be a contract because this sometimes is just, you know, it's legal stuff. Um, it's almost like this new contract with your soul with your light um, to let it lead you as opposed to just your head, as opposed to, uh, I don't know what it looks like, or, well, you know, the safest and uh, thing to do is this and that, or the thing that I've always done is this and that, but it's like, well, maybe I need to do something new. Maybe I need to do something different. Maybe I need to uh, expand myself. So, very interesting little uh, beginning. All right. Uh, extended readings are available for members. Membership is $4.99 or $7.99 a month. Please become a member. And, um, yeah. Enjoy Lionsgate and the new moon. New moon, good time to set intentions. I believe it's the 13th. Blessings.